The brief of this project was to basically design and build the most energy efficient and healthy home. Some of the key elements are really the glazing, the building envelope itself, so it was all constructed out of SIPs, which is a structurally insulated panel. The house has actually been fitted off with heat recovery ventilation system, a very smart system that brings in fresh air 24-7 without any sort of heat losses. Luke, how are you? Yeah, good to meet you. You good. too. This is awesome. Where are we? We're in Kilcare on the Central Coast. The first thing I noticed when I walked onto the property was this awesome exposed brick that's on the facade. So it made me start to think like, what was here? What did you have to work with when you arrived on site? So there was no existing buildings here when we, when we arrived. We had a blank slate. We've got neighbours all around who are sort of up on the hill looking down on us. So that um, really led to the way that we designed this place in terms of it being an inward looking house. We've been really particular about where we've put the second story of the house so that we can still get sun in at certain times of the day. So essentially what you're saying is we've designed the courtyard in that position so that we can get as much sun in there as possible. Yeah, that's right, yep. Can we go take a look? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, well, I can see what you mean about maximising sun because right now the pool is just drenched in it. So we created this courtyard space in the design and the pool came in. I think there was a few factors. One was definitely that. Two was having probably more of an interaction with what's happening here so that you're not low down in the ground. Yeah, you're right. Now that you say that, it makes so much sense because we're standing up here just off the kitchen, right? And you could absolutely be interacting on the same level as people yeah. in the pool. Yeah, so it is a holiday house and it's meant to, you know, you're meant to use every space concurrently and easily. So that's why we have the flow, the big doors, yep. the pool raised up and the, the semi-sunken courtyard here. Well, I'd love to go inside and see what you've done with the interiors. Yeah, let's do. Yeah, I can see what you mean about like maximising sun, maximising view because the glazing you've got on the front of the house, it's perfectly framing straight bushland. It's beautiful. Yeah, we really tried to just frame green essentially so out the front there with the gable glass the windows uh, out the side towards the pool and the block next door which is all trees talk to me about the kitchen because the scale of it is really perfectly proportioned the kitchen it, it had to be a little bit luxurious needed the room yeah. to prep to, to enjoy making a meal enjoy making drinks um, yeah enjoy the process of you know being together Speaking of family, that leads me to think about upstairs, which is where I'm assuming the primary bedroom is. Yep, let's do it. Let's go. Yeah, what a way to finish up in the primary retreat. Panoramic views, right, of the greenery once more. Yeah, what we, what we really tried to do up here was create a retreat within a retreat. So you, you come up, you're separated, you're in the trees, you have these panoramic views to the green, to the hills beyond. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for having me through this awesome retreat. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, you're welcome. When working on a site like this, you're going to be faced with a lot of challenges. But when Luke and Andrew came together, they came up with the perfect solution. 